Hey everybody, Pete Blank here for this week's edition of Pete's Points. I'm at the Carillon Historical Park here in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, what a great, great place to come learn a lot about the history of Dayton, Ohio. And today I want to take a quick walk through the schoolhouse. And if I can turn this way so I can read the sign here, it's Locust Grove School Number 12. Now this was uh, from 1896, this was created, and it's a replica, and we're not going to be able to see super, oh, I'm in the dark, oh, look, look how good my camera is. So take a look at this old replica one-room schoolhouse from 1896. If you think you're kind of sat in your training rooms, <laughs> or your kids think their schools aren't up to snuff these days, kids used to walk up to a mile uh, back in the late 1890s, early 1900s to make sure that they could get an excellent education. Well, what in the world does this have to do with you as a leader? Well, I want to talk to you about your role as a trainer and your role as a teacher. Sometimes we always assume that human resources uh, and training and development specialists are the ones who have to do this. I'm gonna turn the camera around now, so bear with me for a second, here we go. So take a look at here. Until the early 1900s, the only requirements to be a teacher were that you graduate eighth grade and pass a written test. Female teachers were also required to be unmarried, <laughs> which is very interesting. Coming back to me now. So the point is, you need to be a teacher. You need to be a trainer. If you are a manager, a supervisor, a peer, a coworker, don't just let HR do that work. When it comes to making new employees feel welcome, train them in that. When it comes to the new culture in your organization, train them in that. Don't just wait if you're and say, oh, that's HR's fault or that's training and development's fault. I think as leaders and managers and, and just good people, we need to make sure that we're all trainers and teachers in the organization today to help make sure that we align our organization's values with what we want to accomplish in our own departments. So go out and be a trainer and a teacher today and don't worry about it. If you have only graduated eighth grade, uh, you're still gonna be okay. <laughs> Just like here at the Carillon uh, Historical Park. That's all from Dayton. We'll see you next time on Pete's Points.